Hi there, Matt Wade here, and today I thought we'd spend a little time on a quick tip for adding some graphics to channel names in Microsoft Teams. So let's jump right in. All right, well, this one isn't exactly a make or break or anything groundbreaking in how you use Microsoft Teams, but something just kind of simple, easy, and helps people get around within your team. And that's adding emoji within the channel names in your Teams. Now, why would you even wanna do that? Well, the same reason that organizations and companies have brands. What is a brand? Well, it's a logo, it's an identity, it's a culture, all that kind of stuff. But that, that logo is both an icon and a name. And a channel is a name. And if you can add a little bit of a graphic to it, it can actually stand out more so it's clear to people what that is so they don't have to go looking through all the text to try to figure it out for themselves, especially as more and more channels are created within your team, which makes that list that much longer, which makes things that much harder to find. So if we jump right into Teams, I'm gonna show you how to do this. I have a team here already that has a number of channels with already having some emoji in here. And if you're an owner of a team or you have the ability to create a channel, it's very easy to create a channel with emoji in it. Now, I will say, technically speaking, there should be no reason why you can't create a channel from the start with emoji in it, but I'm gonna actually recommend that instead of doing it with emoji from the beginning, create the channel with whatever name you would give it without emoji, and then change the name of the channel to add emoji to it. There's a couple reasons for that. Mainly it's because in the background, when it creates the folder for the files in SharePoint, the file repository for Teams, it's actually adding the emoji, if you create it from the very beginning, right to the URL of that folder. And while technically that should work, emoji are just Unicode characters. So the smiley face emoji should be just as, uh, as valid as the letter A or a period. That doesn't mean I necessarily trust it. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, create a channel here and let's call it um, accounting. I can go ahead and click add. Uh, you can do this for a standard or for a private channel. It's completely up to you, but in this case, I'm just gonna make it uh, a standard channel. As this channel is created, you'll see this listed here and it's actually underneath everything else with emoji. This is actually one of the downsides of the emoji. Emoji don't have an alphabetical order. Well, they do, but it doesn't make any sense to us because each of the emoji are called something specific and they're ordered that way. So that's one of the downsides and something you wanna keep in mind. Now to add the emoji here, I'm gonna click on the ellipsis for the new channel and I'm going to say, um, edit this channel. So now I have the name and I can add emoji here. Now, here's the trick for getting your emoji. If you're using Windows, you can press the Windows period uh, keys, or on Mac, you can press Control Command Space. I happen to be on Mac, so I'm gonna do that. And here is the emoji um, viewer or character viewer. And I'm going to look for money. So in this case, let's just add, I think finance is already using the stack of dollar bills. So I'm going to use the bag o cash. And because uh, having no space there looks a little bit awkward, I'm gonna press a space and press save. Okay, and once this saves, you now can see the, uh, that accounting has that emoji there. And if I zoom in, you can see it right there. And all of these have that there. One of the other options is you can put the emoji after the name. Now that's totally doable. It's not as easy to see or catch because words are different lengths. Another reason why you know a logo doesn't have uh, an icon for the logo after the name, right? Uh, but just something to keep in mind. You'll actually notice these days that Microsoft certain templates for uh, Teams, uh, Teams within Teams, uh, actually already have emoji included, and I think they seem to to uh, typically use an emoji at the end of a channel name, uh, probably for the same reason I mentioned earlier. But the nice thing here is if you do open this up and you open up the files tab and you go into SharePoint, the name of the folder will not have that emoji because of the way that I did it. Now, of course, you, you can create the channel from scratch with the emoji, totally up to you. So not much to this one, quick little handy tip. It does really resonate with people. They do like seeing graphical representation of what that uh, channel is supposed to represent and mean. Keep in mind, there's only so many emoji. 
You're not gonna see emoji that represents specific uh, concepts sometimes. You won't see ones that represent companies, definitely. Emoji are supposed to be universal and independent of uh, uh, specific cultures sometimes, uh, and especially uh, different economics and different uh, and companies, generally brands, uh, those don't exist, but that's just something to keep in mind. So thanks so much for watching. A like and subscribe is much appreciated as always. And if you like tips and tricks about Microsoft Teams like this, I have a new book coming out. Check out Teach Yourself Visually Microsoft Teams. It's available for pre-order now on Amazon and a number of other online book retailers, and eventually you'll be able to find it in stores as well. So thanks so much for watching. And if you have any comments, questions, or if you've been using this yourself, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Thanks so much and see you next time.